Hey everybody, in this episode, we're going to make a glass vase. Now there's going to be all different types of ways that you can make all the different parts. There's going to be many right ways to do it. I'm just kind of leading you in and showing you uh, this way to do it by using uh, circles and extrusions, um, both adding and um, removing extrusions. There's ways to do it as a revolve and I'm sure there's other ways to do it. But uh, here are some instructions that I'm going to ask you to follow. And as we keep building knowledge based on Onshape and other CAD softwares, you're going to find there are probably easier ways to do this. So let's get started by hitting Create and Document. And we're going to call this a vase. Also, it's as we're making a vase and you're thinking about flowers, it is always a good idea to buy flowers for your mom or your girlfriend or your fiance on random days. So as a reminder, I'm going to have to go buy flowers for my wife. All right, here we go. Thanks for reminding me to do that. Um, we are going to start with the top view because we're going to put the vase on the table and build it up. So go ahead and click top view and then sketch. And we are going to grab a circle and put the point right in the middle and uh, draw it without really worrying about dimensions until right now when we click D for dimension. And we're going to make a three inch vase. So I'm going to type the number three and I'm going to hit enter on there. Go ahead and green check mark that off and we'll hit extrude. Click on the circle that you just drew and we're going to make it six inches tall and hit the green check mark. All right, so I'm going to come over here and hit this corner so I can see it and hit the green check mark and we've got a glass face. Well, it looks glass, right? The appearance so far looks a little bit translucent. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on the top here and you want to make sure that you click on it and it's got that yellow circle on there. We're going to come over here to sketch. And again, we're going to click on the top so that um, it is selected there as the yellow and grab another circle. As we hover over it, it should, you should see, there we go, I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see it a little better, I think. You should see a dot or what is that, a square pop up in the middle that will give you a spot to click on or a reference point to click on. Um, we wanna make the circle um, no bigger than the, than the other circle that we've created. So I'm gonna make it slightly smaller. So you can see the light blue and then the dark black line out there. I'm gonna grab my dimension and I'm gonna click the outside of that. And I'm also going to click the uh, black line. So I'm gonna create an offset here. Um, and so we're gonna base the dimension half inch, I'm sorry, a quarter inch smaller. So I'm gonna type 0.25 uh, than the outside circle. Okay. So I type 0.25 and I hit the green check mark. I'm going to grab the extrusion there and click on the small circle. I'm gonna to go to remove and this is something we haven't done yet. And uh, since our vase is, um, what do we say, six inches tall, I'm gonna make this 5.75 inches and hit the green check mark. And as I rotate this, you can see pretty much all the way through. All right. Now here's the other thing that if you realize that, oh man, I forgot I wanted to like make this sketch and um, show all sketches and appearances. So if I double click on this and I wanted to change this dimension to four inches, the green check mark, you'll notice that because of that offset, it stays a quarter of an inch. I'm going to go back to this, double click on that, change this back to three inches, hit the green check mark. So I'm back to where I wanted to be. Um, and highlight this, right click, assign a material. My materials right here. And I want to make this glass. Click on it, green check mark, and I'm all done. There is our glass vase. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of the day.